Since Level 2 moved out of town, there hasn't been a town centre youth organisation or youth venue. There's going to be a new one this month. It's called Boost and Josh Hunt is the youth worker. Uh, I'm working for a charity called Boost. Right. And they're a youth work organisation that's right. been around in the town for about 10 years. Right. And they're supported by a number of different churches and organisations in Felix. So. A lot of people have heard about these through our popular bus project. Right. We had a double-decker bus and converted it into a mobile youth cafe. And that's been driving around town for the past couple of years. Um, but that had to finish in April due to its uh, high maintenance costs. So. I picked up this role on Monday, mm -hmm. so still fairly fresh. Right. And we're in the final stages of acquiring a property on Orwell Road. So we're going to be turning that into what we call Boost HQ. So it's going to be a multi-purpose venue that's literally going to be a hub for all we do. So it's going to be a bit of an office, a bit of a youth centre, a bit of a youth cafe. Um, it's going to host all of our kind of after-school clubs. It's basically going to allow us to do more youth work, to do better youth work, and to do more youth work with other organisations as well. Your title is, is Youth Pastor, That's right. and that implies a religious connection. It does. Um, it implies just helping young people to live life to the full and uh, I'm a Christian and I believe that to live life to the full there's a kind of spiritual aspect of that and to fulfill that my faith is in Christianity right. and so we will help young people educationally, morally, we'll help them with their relationships, understanding sexuality, all the things like that uh, but one of the aspects of our work is also to help inform young people about spirituality and Christianity whether they make a decision about their particular faith that is completely up to them um, but we seek to to input that into our work in order to help young people live life to the full. So if we, if we boiled it down, are you out to convert or, or, or convince? Um, not at all. We're out to inform and to include that as part of living life to the full. Whether young people do choose to make a decision to become a Christian, that's completely up to them. I'm very comfortable with young people not making that decision if that's what they think is best for them and so I will quite happily work with them in order to boost their education, to help them uh, understand where they really want to get to in life if they don't want to include religion as a part of that, that's absolutely fine. What are you going to do that's different? How are you going to do things to get kids to come and, and stay? And stay? Um, one of the things that we've realised through doing our bus project is that a lot of kids just want somewhere to be, somewhere they can call their own and someone to talk to. And so as well as myself as a full-time employee, we also have a team of volunteers um, of many different ages, many different backgrounds and simply by sitting down with the kids and talking to them um, they really find it a great space to come back to and um, part of what we do is going to be selling things like hot chocolates and sweets, the kind of things that, that kids like um, so they, they've really enjoyed it. I'm really excited about the next chapter of Boost. Um, the bus project was absolutely great but obviously it required someone to be trained to drive it around the town and having the fixed premises, Boost HQ, is going to be a really great way for us to do more youth work, to do better youth work and to do more youth work together. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be open uh, every day of the week and also on a Saturday, doing various after-school clubs, afternoon activities and evening groups and on a Saturday as well.